Hi everyone, my name is Abhinav from Migration Centre of Australia. I want to talk about the consequences of Schedule 3 criteria. Now this is specifically for Schedule 3001, 3003 and 3004. If you have overstayed or are currently an unlawful non-citizen in Australia, or you're on a bridging visa and have been on a bridging visa for more than 28 days since you last held a substantive visa. Substantive visa pretty much means it could be a visitor visa, student visa, graduate visa, any kind of those visas. If you have not held a substantive visa for more than 28 days or an unlawful non-citizen, you are subject to this Schedule 3 criteria. Now, when you lodge a partner visa application, you need to ensure that there are compelling reasons that have been provided to justify why you did not hold a substantive visa at the time of application. Now, these are quite serious grounds. Many partner visas have been refused due to not satisfying or providing compelling reasons for this. An example of a compelling reason can be a child. So if there is an Australian child that is being born out of that relationship, or even that's not part of that relationship, maybe it's from a previous relationship and now you as the visa applicant have become attached to that child and that child would be significantly affected by you having to leave Australia because your partner visa cannot be granted, that can be a compelling reason to still grant your partner visa application. So. We've met, handled many cases around these grounds. If you have any questions, please reach out to a professional that has experience with this to ensure that you make a strong submission to meet the Schedule 3 criteria.